Hello everybody, Drinking back for another match of this tournament. And we're starting the last round of Group C games. And in this clash we see Sorrow Fakanax Rex facing off against Team Primal Carnage. Let's get on with it. Fakanax Rex already through to the last 16. And can we finish the group stage with a win? At first we have Black T-Rex. Through the room set, Mark Nebraska and Sighted Spaghetti. But it doesn't have a scissors move because it's not a loud one. Because it has death on it. Backing up the black breath, we have Sorrow Faganax. With a move set of Sweet Eruption, Bolt Burst and Alpha Dark. Have a mention, Sora's already through. A boat of wind will take them top. We have temporary until Spitfire plays. And as for Team Primal Carnage, who, have, who are already eliminated, we have Cryo of the Swords. Tied and Heavy Type, with a new set of tire attack, throws and gliding for the Big Smash. Bit disappointed in Team Primal Carnage. Now a lot of the teams with secret dinosaurs in have struggled. Except for Miracle. <laughs> anyway, back in the we have Procamphosaurus, Lethal Type. With a new set of fire cannon, Lily and Kira and Death Grip. I guess it just goes to show how, in my opinion, the secret dinosaurs aren't really that powerful. Like, I'd say Fairy, Dynamicus, and Pachycephalosaurus are pretty good because they have a thousand technique. Others like Cryo, Megalo, Papa, and Apato, not very strong. In my opinion. Not that strong. Anyway. <laughs> oh, that's a good start from the Black T-Rex. Can Team Primal Carnage end the tournament on a high? <laughs> Cloud strikes back. Taking out the cryo. And the acro's gonna get hit as well. Ooh, the acro gets off a crit, and then the Emisora comes in for the new Emisora. Primal Carnage does get a win. So they do end the tournament on a high. And, and as for Sir Faganax Rex, it's the last 16 for so Hope you enjoyed this match. See you next time. Hello everybody, 
Stranger Gamer back for another match of the tournament. In this Pool C clash, we have Tabletop and Spitfire facing off against um, Melonic Shenanigans. Spitfire already guaranteed the top three. Oh, and Melonic Shenanigans already out. Anyway, as for Melonic, up to we have the Central River, Tai Tai, with a new set of Sand Trap, Earth Barrier, and Crystal Crusher. Backing up with the Central River, we have Sorrow backing up. Cool, we set up the Corruption, Volcano Burst, and Fireball. After a promising start, things kind of fell apart a bit from Melonic. And unfortunately for him, he's going to be knocked out of the group stage. This will be his last game. Yeah, that's a Spitfire. An impressive display so far in this tournament. We have Power to Wallopus, the Fence type. With a new set of Egg Attack, Neck Crusher, and Kamikaze Tackle. Strength oriented move set, but very effective. As seen. Backing up this Power to Wallopus, we have Edmond Tony. Price is tight, pretty new set of Stompy Hammer, Atomic Bomb, and Roller Tap. And I'd be very impressed with Spitfire. And I, ne I didn't, I wouldn't have expected him to top pool C. Well, this should be a this is going to be a tough one for the design of Bella, because that's a tight disadvantage. Against his power. But can Melonic finish their tournament on a high and take the bite on Spitfire's impressive record? Oh, no, just the first hit. Two times. But yeah, look at that. That was a threat and it did only a minuscule amount of damage. That's the defense type resilience of the power field. Yeah, I think the tie actually did more damage. Well, slowly wearing down the power's health. Yeah, it's clever. Yeah, both of them died so I mean, it's only a matter of time that this will just get I guess it hit. Although the Earth Barrier will save you to self but the power is going to heal a lot of health back. So Earth Barrier there. And the Crystal Crusher getting triggered. Spitfire finally striking back. There's a time for the Crystal Crusher is going to activate. Significantly knowing Ed Montoya's defensive power. Which means he'll take more damage, basically. <laughs> oh, we have another time. <laughs> oh, Aubrey Ed Montoya gets up on the other side. This will be Rose out. Yeah, I'm surprised Sandtrap has not been at all. I'm quite surprised. Even with the Sandtrap Rose, I've had a pretty good technique as well. That is a surprise. But anyway, in comes the Sora Baganax. Which is going to do a heap turn more damage than the Sandtrap Rose. Although, not if it gets hit by a mole attack. Spit by a quick turn of things around. Oh, that's heat 
watch him after they kill us. Everyone turn around. Well, the sort of fact that his health is in the red, but Edmontonia has been dispatched. That also guarantees it should Spitfire lose his match. He will get a losing bonus point if Spitfire will not be leaving this match empty-handed no matter what happens. And what happens is that Spitfire is going to win this match. Well, we're on it. Took a good fight, too, but in the end, Spitfire's brute strength came through for him, and he brings yet another win in an impressive, well, let's say 50 50 match. I think Melonic put up a good fight there, but. Spitfire tops Group D. C. Oh, I keep saying D, it's Group C. Spitfire tops Group C. So I hope you enjoyed this matchup, and I'll see you next time. Hello everybody, Strange Gamer back for another match of my tournament. And in this big clash, it's quite a big one, we have the end of the Metro facing off against Team Asia. Let's get on with it. Up first to end there, we have the Uteractive Lender type. With a new set of Dino Illusion, Sonic Blast and Hyper Recovery. Defeat the to end anything other than a win to end or what end their top four hopes. And we'll see them eliminated from the at the big stage. After the winter after we have the second. The eyes are tight. Both the moon for a sand trap, they're fine, but still pressure. So as I mentioned, anything other than a winter ender will eliminate him from the tournament. The big stage. A win will secure their place in the last 16. And will eliminate Team South America in the process. Ooh. Anyway, backing up the end. As for Team Asia, we have Cytania Dynatap. After a very strong start, three seasons have suffered for them. Defeat here wouldn't eliminate them. But a defeat here would mean that Omega Man in the next match would have to be defeated by Team South America. Anyway, backing up Cytania, we have Cytania. Well, type for the new set of Smiling Hamburger, Archaeopteryx Charm, and Hurricane Oh, yeah, the Cyclonia's new set, Galley Rush, Earthquake, and Elemental Cap. A win for Team Asia guarantees it, basically. This is. Eh, not nothing for end, though. That's a good start! As a teenager, if they lose, they'll be out of their hands. Oh, the other time, you can see the blunder effect from the U-Track today. Interactive gets the hit. Miss Mighty get the same Nope. But leaves its health hanging. Strong star from Ender. Remember, the Sachinia cannot swap out. And I think it's there. Yep. And the sign actor comes in. Try to get something hurt. Wow, I don't think Team Asia's got a hit yet. Oh, now it's going to be. It's going to get a big one after this hurricane beat. Push! Let's make this beat. Oh, just survived. Dino Illusion being triggered. Oh, 
think that's still in a good position? Ooh. Oh, tight up ahead. And now we're down to Rockercephalus. Both teams done for last time. Crystal Crusher getting triggered. Ooh, the Rocket Sapphire strikes back though. Yeah! Oh, fire has been activated. Looks like Ender's gonna win this one. That's game over, and I see the end of the Necro through to the last 16. Two majors, tournament, top four, hanging by a thread. Well, I hope you enjoyed this match, and I'll see you next time. Sega. Hello, Vastrid Gamer back for the final Pool C match of this tournament. And in this clash, we see Team South America, who have already been eliminated, facing off against Omega 9. Well, we all know the stakes. A win for Omega 9 sees them go through and eliminate Team Asia. A defeat for Omega 9? Well, in fact, any form of point will see Omega 9 go through. And as for Omega 9. Oh no, this isn't Omega 9, this is Team South America. This, at first with Team South America, we have the Super Kano. Back in the Super Kano, we have Giganosaurus. Come to type with a move set of Stomping Hammer, Burning Dash, and Naughty Covering Rice. I know I missed out on the Kano, sorry about that. As for the Kano, we have Tag Team, Romeo Rush, and Cyclone. I haven't quite happened to Team South America. Anyway, as for Omega 9, we have Papa Soros. Real power type. With a move set of Tag Team, Papa Roman, and Papa Love Life. Anyway, as I was saying. Okay, yeah, backing up. Backing up with Papa Soros, we have Carnotaurus. Crisis type. With a move set of Tuki Fora Dive, Sonic Blast, and Ninja Attack. Anyway, as I was saying before. A win, a bonus point win, a draw, or a losing bonus point will be enough to take Omega 9 through. Defeat, and Omega 9 is out. So is, is the Omega fans now? Carnotaurus gets off the first hit. Carnotaurus <laughs> strikes back. <laughs> Ooh, but this could be a big hit from the Carno as a side play. Well, no cycle, but it's just a crap. And it's a wait for the Oh, that's the worst case scenario for the Omega now. A tie takes out the Papasaurus, and now leaves the Carnotaurus vulnerable. Oh, and the Carnotaurus is going to get hit! Romeo comes in. I'm oh, not doing too much damage. Yeah. Oh, Cyclone gets activated. Well, Omega 9 needs to turn this around. Hey, I just noticed that the Super Carno is like an Ace type color, but the normal Carno is dark. I actually prefer the normal Carno. 
Ooh, this might be game over. Oh, oh, this is game. That's game. Oh, it's game over. That was quick. Oh, because of that, Omega 9 is eliminated. Now Team Mega. South America get a winning a bonus point win. Well, I hope you enjoyed that match. Anyway, let's have a look at the final table for Pool C. Let's have a look at the final yeah, table for C. We have Spitfire at the top. Six wins, one defeat, two bonus points, 20 points. And then second, we have Saw Fagadax Rex with four wins, three defeats, and three bonus points. And in that third place, we have the end of the back truck. Same stats as Saw Fagadax Rex, but with one less bonus point, finishing on 14 points. And then in fourth place, and just getting through despite a defeat, we have Team Asia. Four wins, three losses, and one bonus point. 13 points. And then, despite finishing with a flourish, Team South America in sixth. With three wins, four defeats, four bonus points. And only 13 points. Unfortunately for them, it's not enough. And then we have Omega 9. Three wins, four defeats, three bonus points. 12 points, just short on the top four. And we have in 7th place, Melonic Shenanigans with 2 wins, 5 defeats, and 2 bonus points. Accumulating 8 points in all. And then bringing up the rear, we have Primal Carnage team with 2 wins, 5 defeats, no bonus points. Finishing up with 6 points. Well, we already know one matchup because how Group D is gone. Team Eo Karkaria guaranteed to win the group. We're going to see Team Eo Karkaria facing off against Team Asia. And, well, Laos isn't guaranteed second place yet, but should he finish second, we're going to see Laos against the end of the Metro. So at the minute, matches are will be Spitfire against Rex Williams Sim, Soro Faganax Rex against Ultimate Dino King. Oh, that could be a good one. Laos97 against Ender Demetra, Team Eo Karkaria against Team Asia. Well, that's as it stands, but given the way this group has gone, I doubt the top four is going to be as it is. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this matchup. See you next time.